Hello, Kadi community. Welcome to a new Kadi Tech Update. I am Daniel, head of product at Kadi, and today I want to share with you some of the things that we've been working on. We continue to work on our scheduled mainnet launch and are making good progress on all fronts. Here's what we'll cover in this video. Uh, first, I'll cover full notes and the general approach of full notes in the Kadi network. Uh, we'll also go over stablecoin on Kadi v2. And lastly, uh, block explorer upgrade. Let's dive in. Let's get started with node management. As you may be aware, full nodes will play a central role in the new Kadi network. They are responsible for validating transactions and ensuring the integrity of the Kadi blockchain network. These full nodes uh, comprise the decentralized foundation, if you would, of the Kadi network. So the long-term vision for the network is that anyone will be able to run these nodes, contributing to the integrity and decentralization of the ecosystem. This will be crucial for many things, but mainly security, scalability, and ensuring an overall robust ecosystem. Um, at this stage, we've been working extensively on the software that powers these nodes. This includes um, improving synchronization, uh, efficiency, and enhancing security measures. We're also refining the onboarding process, ensuring that node operators can set up and maintain their nodes with minimal friction. Um, another key aspect that we're focusing on is performance monitoring. We want to provide node operators with the right tools to track uptime and network participation in real time. So this will make it easier for operators to maintain high performance and contribute effectively to the network's uh, stability. There are still many moving parts in this process, and as we make progress, we will continue to share updates. So stay tuned as we get closer to enabling a seamless and decentralized node experience for the Kata community. Okay, let's move on to talking about stable coins. A key milestone for Kadi v2 is bringing stable, scalable DeFi to our network. A fundamental part of this is integrating a trusted stable coin. And we are excited to share that we are working on bringing bridged USDC to Kadi v2. So stable coins play a critical role in DeFi by providing price stability, they enable lending, borrowing, liquidity pools, and overall, they foster a reliable meaning of uh, exchange for assets. So by integrating USDC, we unlock new opportunities for developers and users, ensuring smooth, permissionless asset transfer, and also maintaining cross-chain interoperability uh, within existing DeFi uh, ecosystems. So why USDC? So we selected Circle's bridged USDC for several reasons. Uh, mainly, uh, first, it's permissionless and open, so any developer or protocol can integrate stablecoin functionality without restrictions. Uh, second is future-proof, so this approach allows a seamless transition to native USDC in the future. So what that means is that we, we will provide the liquidity initially and you know some of the protocols then onboard to Kadi v2. And this gives us a clear path for Circle to deploy their native USDC uh, coin in the future, uh, where you know it's native, so they are bringing the, the liquidity into, into the network. Um, and third, it's for security and transparency. So bridged USDC is built on well-audited, transparent smart contracts. Uh, in ensuring safety in all of the DeFi transactions that happen on Kadi. Um, additionally, Bridged USDC has already been successfully deployed on major L2s like Arbitrum, Optimism, uh, Polygon. So it's proven and battle tested. Um, kind of the reliability and efficiency in high traffic DeFi environments has been proven. So by leveraging this proven standard, Kadi v2 can then seamlessly connect with established uh, liquidity pools and financial applications. Okay, so let's talk about how it works. Uh, the bridging process follows a straightforward and trustless workflow. First, users lock USDC on a designated smart contract on the source chain. This will be a chain outside of Kadi v2. Then bridged USDC is minted on Kadi v2 at a one-to-one -one ratio. That is, if you lock $100 on the source chain, then you'll mint 100 USDC on the destination chain, in this case, Kadi v2. Uh, it's DeFi ready, so you know as soon as it's minted on Kadi, it can immediately be used for trading, 
lending or a liquidity pool, whatever the use case may be, uh, without any wait period. And uh, finally, it's it's reversible. So let's say if you have some liquidity that where that you wish to uh, exit, you can then burn your bridged USDC, or here you see USDC.E, uh, and then it will unlock the original amount that was locked on the source chain. Uh, so this mechanism ensures that Cardi V2 can support permissionless asset transfers. Um, it's interoperable with other networks, and it provides deep liquidity. So it reinforces its role as the kind of next generation blockchain for privacy focused DeFi applications. So this is just the, the start. Our integration of bridged USDC is kind of laying the foundation for a thriving DeFi ecosystem in Cardi V2. It will enable builders and users to explore new financial applications. And as we move forward, we will continue refining the infrastructure and ensuring we have a robust stablecoin solution for mainnet. Okay, now let's move on to talk about our final topic, our Blog Explorer. So a Blog Explorer is essential for any blockchain network. It serves as kind of a window that allows you to peer into the blockchain. It allows users to see transactions, monitor network activity, and verify smart contract interactions. So as we prepare for the launch of Mainnet, we have been weighing and testing various options. After careful evaluation, we have chosen Block Scout as the official block explorer for Cardi V2. Some of the features that were important for this decision were first, transparent transaction tracking, so users can view detailed transaction data, including sender, receiver, gas fees, and confirmations. Uh, second, smart contract verification, so developers need a way to inspect, verify, and interact with deployed smart contracts. Uh, block Scout has that uh, built in. And then address and token lookups. So any good explorer will allow users to quickly search for wallet addresses, token balances, on-chain activity, and uh, Block Scout meets all of these uh, expectations and more. It really gives us a seamless uh, experience. If you're a casual user or if you're a developer, it has as little or as much context and content uh, as you want. So in fact. Many leading blockchains use Block Scout, uh, so it also helps us to provide an experience that both developers and users are already familiar with. Um, this makes for minimal ramp up time and kind of a, a familiar uh, experience for these users. Um, there's a lot of developer friendly features, like as, as I said, contract verification, API lookups, uh, API access. And this will enable builders to create and test their smart contracts in a very easy manner. Um, and finally, as an open source tool, Block Scout allows full customization and community driven uh, improvements and contributions. For Cadi, this means that any privacy related feature that we can think of could be implemented in the future. We could build it into Block Scout through an open source contribution, which is very cool. So as we refine the network, we'll continue customizing and improving the Explorer to ensure that it provides the best experience possible. So the integration of Block Scout marks another step towards building a robust and transparent blockchain ecosystem for Cardi V2. Uh, and stay tuned for updates as we roll out new features and enhancements to the Block Explorer in the coming months. That's it for this update. So exciting times ahead. Uh, I want to give all of our developers and builders out there a, a reminder uh, around testnet and the, st and the state of our network is to always back up your work. So as we roll out new features, there may be times where testnet has to be reset. So we wanna make sure that all the work that you've deployed is easily redeployable. So always ensure to back up your work. Um, we're hyper-focused on the Cardi mainnet released and are very excited for the times ahead. So as always, if you wanna get involved in the conversation, please feel free to reach out to us via Discord or Telegram. We're always happy to chat. So thanks for watching and until the next one, stay caught.